In this video, I'm going to test several mega fuses from different brands to see if they break the circuit at the same current. If you're using mega fuses and want to see if there's a difference between brands, this is the video for you. Why should I test these fuses? Because knowing how reliable your fuse is could make a huge difference in the safety and efficiency of your system. The brands I'll be testing are Bojack, OffGridTech, LittleFuse and Vexunga. I ordered Victron fuses, but Victron doesn't make fuses themselves. They rebrand from LittleFuse. So I'm not going to test them. These are some of the best selling mega fuses you can find online. So I thought it was worth seeing how they compare. Here's some information about mega fuses you should know before we start testing. Out of all the brands, only little fuse gives us a detailed time current curve. So we will use that as our benchmark. Little fuse is the only brand in this lineup that's a professional fuse manufacturer. So it's worth paying attention to. Mega fuses are rated for 32 volts systems. So if you're running a 48 volt system, you'll need mega fuses rated for 58 volts DC. Mega fuses are designed to handle a maximum short circuit current or ICC of 2000 amps at 32 volts. If you have a 12 volt 200 amp hour lithium battery, just like this one, it can deliver up to 2000 amps in a short circuit, which is right at the fuse limit. Anything more and the fuse might not be able to safely extinguish the arc. For more details on this, check out my video on selecting the right fuse type. Looking at the time current curve, you can see that a 40 amp mega fuse isn't going to blow at 40 amps. It will actually blow closer to 55 amps if the load is sustained for a specific period. For example, a 40 amp fuse will blow at 55 amps, but only after holding that load for 100 seconds. It can handle 75 amps for about 10 seconds and it will survive 130 amps, but only for one second. Here's a quick breakdown. If you apply a 77 amp load, the fuse should blow in about 1 to 15 seconds. With a 55 amp load, which is 137% of a 40 amp fuse's rating, it could take anywhere from 2 to 30 minutes to blow. Why the long delay? Mega fuses are slow acting, making them perfect for starting things like electric engines, which need a quick surge of power. If you used a fast acting fuse, it will blow immediately when the motor kicks on due to the surge. It's important to understand the difference between a short circuit and an overload. In a short circuit, the fuse will blow instantly, but with an overload, they're more forgiving. All right, enough theory. Let's get to testing. I will test 40 amp mega fuses. The first test will be a 44 amp load, which is about 100% their rating. They should not blow according to the time current characteristics. For the second test, we will apply a current of 80 amps, which is 200% the rated current. And according to the time current curve, it should take less than 15 seconds to blow. First, I will test the fuse from Offgrid Tech. I've placed the fuse right here after the battery. You can follow the current on this display. First, let's apply a 44 amp load using this hair dryer. You can see the current is 44.5 amps. Okay. 
The fuse didn't blow at 44 amps. So now let's apply an 80 amp load and see how long it lasts. Seventy-seven amps, and the fuse just blow. So that took only maybe three or two seconds. The next fuse I'm going to test is Bojack. Let's apply the same forty-four amp load. So we were in about a minute and the fuse didn't blow. So now let's uh, increase the load to 80 amps. This is just uh, 3 amps. We're now at 80 amps. Twenty seconds. This is not good. Not good at all. One minute already. Just to see, I'm not lying. Seventy nine amps, and you're in two minutes. This is not good at all. Let's see how long it will last. As you can see, we have the main battery positive cable going through the fuse onto the bus bar. We are approaching three minutes. Let me stop the test right here. So I still have another 40 amp uh, fuse from Bojack. Let's try this one. Just you're sure I'm using this one. 40 amps. The previous one. 40 amps. So uh, let's go straight to the 80 amp test. One minute in and still not blown. Let's increase the current even more. It reached 100 amps and then the fuse blow. So this is very bad. Um, 
I don't have words for this. Uh, Bojack should not be trusted. Your cables could be melting and the fuse would not even blow. Let's continue with a new fuse. This one is Vexunga. It's a popular fuse on Amazon. Let's apply the same 40 amp load. We are in one minute and it doesn't seem to be a problem. So uh, now let's increase the current to 80 amps. Eighty amps. Ten seconds. The fuses look similar, so I don't expect a lot from this one. This is the Bojack and Vexunga. The fuse just blow at 40 seconds. So the fuse uh, didn't meet the expectations of the 15 seconds, but still blew after 40 seconds. Now let's test little fuse. We're having 40 amp load. The fuse didn't blow and that's what we expected. So now let's increase the load to 80 amps and the fuse should blow under 15 seconds according to their time current curves. First we have the smaller load which is 2.2 amps, then increase it to 80 amps. And that took about 4 seconds for the fuse to blow. So this uh, fuse is rated correctly. So to conclude the video, first we had off-grid tech who performed as expected. Then we had the Bojack who failed the test miserably. Then we had Faxunga who passed the test as well. And then we had Little Fuse who was good as well. So my recommendation is don't get Bojack fuses. They're one of the most reviewed fuses on Amazon. So I recommend sticking with the other brands, but don't use Bojack. And do you see the little wire over here? It's a neutral ground connection. I will have a future video about it, so make sure you're subscribed. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new from this test and I will see you in the next video.